I'll be showcasing the beauty of his sleep. How the Somali community has changed Nairobi and Kenya at large. My name is Gosi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. Isli was founded in the year 1921. At this time, it was formerly called Nairobi East Township. The colonial government allotted Nairobi's residential estates by race. That's so bad because that's what leads to racism. And Isli was targeted for Asians and elite Africans who worked as clerks, builders, and shoemakers. Basically, these are the people who work for the colonial government. They were treated special. Isli was formerly a large Kenyan Asian enclave until independence in 1963. Lately, we have seen an influx of the Somali community to this area, except a few indigenous people. So the Somalis have gone to extend of electing their own representative to the Kenyan parliament. That proves to you that they are the majority. It is good to know that this municipality is a key player to the economy of Kenya now that they are the biggest contributors of revenue for the government. That is a time when we experienced mass exodus of Somalis who are targeting investing back in the issue due to bad relationship, due to mistreatment by the public and the police. So at that time, the government had to, inter to intervene and uh, create a good conducive environment for investments for these guys to stay, you know. Isle Airport, which is now known as Moy Air Base, is located in the northern part of Isle. The base was sized for British Royal Air Force. The dual use facility was also the main civilian international airport in Nairobi for the period between 1943 and 1958 before the opening of the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The way you perceive Isli depends on the route you use when joining this beautiful town. And your first impression will be the big mosque, the massive mosque, the Muslim community. Now the dress code will always differ with the usual dress code in the other parts of Nairobi. The population stay, especially today is on a weekend, so the population is a bit huge. Everyone is around doing their shopping. Yes. What's up? Yes. I check this what, one. What is that? Hey, it's, I, a, I, it's, a, it's a bit, a bit of drink. Yeah. Yes. It's, 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 <laughs> What's your name? Yes. What's your name? What's your name? My name is James. <laughs> James. Ah, uh, James. Yeah. Tell me something about his sleep. Ah, uh, James. I, I'm good. I, I was, I walk here. I just, I just. You, you are recharging. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? There's the dollar something. Working at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I love okay, you. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? Go see Africa. What's your name? Search on YouTube, go see Africa. YouTube, eh? Yeah, go see Africa. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's a different hour. Everyone here is activated. It's business mode, you know? The streets, streets are becoming more busier than the morning hours. So I have to create a way, I have to use different routes to evade the traffic, the human traffic. Today being on a Sunday, uh, guys are on the streets. Yeah, in the streets of the doing shopping. Uh, usual myth you know about Isli. Today we want to preempt what you know. We want to give you a fresh theory. We want to give you the truth about these streets. So in case you are just joining, my name is Gosi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya.
They want to paint the exact picture of Africa, of Italy, of Nairobi. Uh, this is a cosmopolitan area, so you expect to see every tribe on these streets. When the streets are so busy, you have to market your own business. You have to bring to appear better than your competitors. You know, everyone is busy. Everyone is busy um, convincing their customers to buy from them. Yeah. We have some beautiful ladies in these streets. I know that's hot soda. <laughs> I know I have a weakness, I have a disorder. Anytime I see a beautiful woman, I have to commend, I have to praise them. So let me do this, let me exercise my calling. Showcase my land, Africa. I want you to make some observations. I might not see everything, so make that unique observation, which I didn't see. Please come in. What did you see? What did you observe? Did I omit something that you wish to talk about? So I have to pay a wife for that guy. When men are twerk, they always uh, have a post. Men are twerk. They want everyone to know that they're working. Ladies never uh, post, never advertise that they are working. <laughs> Tell me something. What did you see or what did you hear about the sleep?
in Isli, we have the biggest mall in East and Central Africa, the Business Bay Mall, BBS Mall. I'm now approaching the biggest mall in East and Central Africa. Let me hope they won't be hard on me. People here are being friendly, but security might be different. Finally, I'm inside the biggest mall in East and Central Africa. There's some major business uh, around the national business inside the mall. Yeah, it's very famous in Kenya. Moi massive. As usual, I am going to see Africa so I showcase Africa to the world. You still have someone? Hi. Oh. You still have someone who doesn't believe that in Africa we can have such a massive mall. So we have. Beautiful. Amazing. Look at this. I virtual reality. So whoever is a fan of gaming, is that we do gaming? I do gaming there. If you love adventure, this is the place to be. This place is so executive to an extent you are not even comfortable misbehaving around. Yeah. Then why I like it that much is because um, um, it's all open. It's an open mall. So here I'm inside the mall, but the wind can uh, blow across. Yeah. So you can see from that the extent it's open. Yeah. But we have, someone told me we have not less than 15 bands inside a sing in a single mall. Yeah and different international businesses here so I, I came at a time when uh, the muslim community was worshipping so they are just, so they, they are just from the mosque and uh, I wasn't comfortable uh, filming them and they left their area of worship so kindly uh, give this video a like share the link with your friends yeah and subscribe to my channel so my name is go see africa and the journey to showcase easily sail goes on <laughs> as a little boy whenever someone especially your parents told you that we are visiting sleep i swear you are the most happiest person on earth and we used to visit mostly during um christmas time or do whenever we have a big event or when our relative is getting married that's the only time you got the opportunity to come to sleep to shop anytime you sh you did shopping from sleep you go to the village feeling like a superstar <laughs> now i am a superstar <laughs> same way to when i'm at the ferry you know I'm fond of going to the upper decker. Yeah. Anytime I come to these beautiful places, I always find myself at the highest points. Yeah. For better views, yeah. No. From these high points, you're able to get the bigger view of the area. What I'm learning is that 
this is a kind of a recreation center for anyone visiting here. Yeah. Personally, I didn't know whether they do a lot for me, but I just learned that now they do. Yeah, I have some guys here taking photographs and uh, doing video work. That shows, so the guys behind me, and that shows that they do a lot lately. Wow, that's a big milestone for content creators. Yeah, a big achievement, you know. I never expected that. So basically now I wanna be walking around now that they do. Let me see whether I can have a conversation with these guys. Oh, Romo. Oh, then talk, talk, talk to your people. In the, uh, I have very many supporters for the Somali community. Now you can you can talk maybe with Oromo. By the way, I missed the event, the Oromo festival in Ethiopia. Uh, I no. come. Dancer. Oh yeah. Yeah. I come at you. Yeah. Dancer. I'm going to go to the Oromo. Yeah. So he's teaching me Oromo. Yeah. Yeah. So Just, uh, can, can you talk to your community now? You face the camera then talk to your community. Yeah. Just uh, I come. I'm not. I come see. I get it. Firstly, I know the greetings. I... Yes. My name is Marian. Marian? Yeah. So, how do you find this city? It's a very cool place. Very it's good. a very nice place. But, but the sun is too hot. Yeah. <laughs> the sun is too hot. Yeah. Wow. Then, uh, um, by the way, thank you so much. You're the one who informed me that they do a lot of filming here in BBS. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Well, so I, I met some guys who are complaining that they get discriminated every time they, they are doing business in sleep. That's true. It depends the type of business you're doing. Oh, it depends the kind of business. But the community, how do you relate with the community? They're good, they're good people. They're good people. Yeah. For me, I can say they're good people because they allow me to film them. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike our our people now, they uh, we call them the new yeah. you know, the king here. <laughs> yeah, this they these guys never ones. allow me to film them. Um, my name is Sharon. Uh huh, Sharon. Yeah. Wow, you, you are a resident of Isli, yeah. or you just visited? Just visited. Uh huh. Yeah, because it's such a nice place. Uh -huh. as you can see the view. Yeah, it's a good place. Nice yeah, 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 it's a yeah. good place. Yeah. Uh, someone told me that this is the biggest mall in East and Central Africa. Yeah, it is actually mm -hmm. the biggest. So your reason for coming here? You just you just came to have a good time. Yeah, I just came to have a good time, enjoy you take the pictures. View, take pictures for Instagram. It's just nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. I have grown with the Somali people, whoever has been living in West Madaraka in Naruk West, probably you might have seen me. I used to be a very good soccer player. Somali as well, they are very good soccer players, so we used to play with them. The likes of Abdi Fata, if you ever come around this video. Abdi Fata, Abdi Akim, Abjabal, yeah, I'm forgetting your sisters. <laughs> But for sure, I enjoyed being around the Somali community. They are good people. And the uh, same way, when you are in this state of Isli, these guys are always free to face your camera. They are always free to show you around. They are always free, yeah, whenever you're filming them. We have a bunch of guys in the streets still who don't allow you filming them. But definitely, they are not the Somali people. Yeah. That shows you the level of civilization with these people is a bit high. Yeah. So whenever you come in to sleep, feel free to interact with anyone. You want to ask a question, directions, please feel free to interact with these guys. Uh, so far, I have to that they are good people. And uh, I can tell, these guys are rich. They're driving big vehicles, yeah, as you can see. Someone told me that the community, yeah, the community, the community, yeah, these guys work together. They want to raise 
an apartment like that one they join hands so they build an equity they contribute money and uh, use that money in building malls the matter to business but then for the longest time for the longest time i've lived knowing that if i want to see some of the oldest matatus i see them in sleep matatu is a public transport vehicle i don't know where these matatus are paraded so when they get old they all they are all brought to sleep this one are a bit new i think the oldest one they are ahead there someone comment there where do these guys get this matatu from where do they operate before coming here i want to be taking a brief tour of the street i want to interact with the people i want to see the level of maturity in these streets the level of civilization the level of security before i preach the gospel of security out there i call it I have people internationally who watch me and they would like to visit Kenya, they would like to visit Italy. Now that I say the Somali people have really changed Nairobi. They have really changed the way we perceive Kenya, the way we see Kenya. Wow. I like how these guys are so friendly to each other. You can clearly see them sharing. Yeah, it seems they know each other, doing business together. Let me hope when I get there, they're going to show the same kind of love to me. You know, if you're watching me uh, from Misli and you ever find me in the streets, please say hi. Tell me go see Africa. Tell me that you're a big fan of me. Oh, tell me that you saw me and you like what I do. You know, that motivates us to keep uh, doing what we do. So I chose to be uh, in a raised position for the sake of doing this introduction. Yeah, security purposes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then I guess it's time for worship. I can hear some guys in the mall. And the uh, Somali community really respects worship. They respect um, uh, being in the mall. So when it comes to time of worship, they all close their business to go and uh, worship. Or rather, they would, like, they, would, they would rather leave someone there and tell him to the shop they go worship, then come relieve him to go worship as well. Wow, I like that.
I hope you enjoyed my vlog. My name is Go See Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. So in case you're watching me for the first time, kindly go ahead and subscribe, share the link with your friends. Have a good bye.